Hello, my strong sisters. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through a dumbbell back workout. In this workout, all you need is one set of dumbbells, a water bottle, and a mat. We are gonna be targeting all parts of the back from the upper back to the mid back to the low back. You're gonna get video demonstrations as well as auditory cues so you know exactly how each of these exercises is done. Once you hit play, you can follow along through the entire workout. You don't have to pause or do a thing. There are built-in rest periods so you can just enjoy the music, enjoy some of my coaching cues, vibe out and join me in this workout. Grab your dumbbells, grab your water bottle, bring that happy attitude along, let's get to it. First things first, we're gonna kick this workout out with a warm up. I like to spend some time on my back days to make sure that I am targeting my upper back and my mid back to kind of get things going. If you have any cracks that might be in your back, you will definitely hear those out. You can just follow along with me, take this as your own pace as needed. These exercises right now are going to be targeting the thoracic cage. This is that upper portion of our upper back area and this movement is called thread the needle. It is one of my favorite warm-up exercises. It's a really great way to just get some rotation in and get the body feeling good. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this warm-up. We're gonna be going through a couple different exercises to get the body primed and ready for this back workout. First exercise that we'll be doing in our first superset is a dumbbell deadlift. You want to have your feet shoulder width apart, holding a dumbbell by your side. You're going to first bend at the hips, lowering the dumbbells down in front of you to about the knee. And when you hit the knee, you can even bend your knees a little bit more to go to about the mid shin. You want to keep your arms nice and long the entire time while keeping your back straight as well. And you wanna keep your eyes looking at about the floor about six feet in front of you so that you can keep a nice neutral spine. The next exercise that we'll be doing in this superset are bent over body weight rear delt flies. I like to make a fist with my hands and whenever I bring my arms out to my side, really think of squeezing the back of my shoulders to engage the rear delts. I like to keep a slight bend in the elbows as well.
You are absolutely crushing it. We are already on our second superset. The first exercise here is going to be a bent over single arm bell row. If you have a bench or a couch, you can place your hand on the bench. Make sure that your wrist, elbow, and shoulder are all in alignment, and you can also prop your knee up on that bench as well. Keeping your back nice and flat, bring the dumbbell down out in front of you and row it towards your back pocket. You wanna think of pulling that dumbbell into your back pocket to engage your back. The next exercise that we're going to be doing for this superset are superwomans. Sometimes these are known as supermans, but I like to call them superwomans because we're strong sisters over here. And you're gonna place your hands behind your head with your feet lying flat out on the ground. And you wanna think of lifting your upper chest and your legs up off the floor, engaging your glutes and your low back and even your upper back.
keep hanging in there. We are on our third superset. This is the last superset of this workout. And the first exercise is going to be a dumbbell good morning. These are gonna target your glutes and your low back. So it's really important when you're doing this exercise. If you're holding the dumbbell behind your head, to just think of pushing your butt back towards the wall and you're going to load up your mid to low back as well as your glutes and then push your hips through at the top so you're standing up nice and tall. You wanna keep your back nice and straight during this movement. Then we're gonna go into bent over ITYs. So first you're gonna bring your arms up overhead to make an I, then out to your sides to make a T, then up above and slightly out to make a Y. So we have here our I, our T's and our Y's.
have made it to the final finisher of this workout. This is the last exercise we're gonna be doing for just one set. The goal is to get as many renegade rows as you can. You're going to start by holding a dumbbell in each hand and placing that dumbbell on the floor. Make sure that your shoulder, elbow, and wrist are all in alignment and take a nice wide stance with each beat. The more stable you're gonna be. From here, you're gonna focus on pulling that dumbbell towards your back pocket while keeping your butt down, your core engaged, and your back nice and flat. Make sure to focus on your breathing during this exercise and continue to row that dumbbell over towards your back pocket. You wanna minimize the amount of hip rotation that you're getting. If you're getting a slight bit, it's okay because you're really engaging your core, but if you're really rotating your hips side to side, you might want to do it body weight or reduce the weight. Chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? I don't know No one ever showed me I've been on my own For too long But if you hold me now Let me into your heart Maybe I can start to love again And tend to my scars Can you show me? Congratulations, we finished this dumbbell back workout. My back is spicy. We targeted all areas of the back from the upper back to the middle back to the low back and even a little bit of the core involving some of our glutes in those deadlifts and those superwomans. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to the Strong Sisters United community. I would love to have you as a part of the family, help you on your journey to being the strongest, healthiest, happiest version of yourself. If you have any questions on how these exercises were done or if you feel any pain in any specific areas, leave a comment down below and I will make sure to help you out. I will see you in the next video. Get ready to grab your dumbbells for that one too. Bye.